Hi, this is Tony Poulos at Communicasia 2017 in Singapore. Today I have with me Brian Rexton, who is the VP of Global Marketing for Connected Home at Technicolor. Brian, Technicolor is a company that I associate with movie making. How are you into the Connected Home? That's us. So, uh, so we are um, Technicolor. Is um, we have our heritage as um, making films and being involved in films, and we've since evolved into um, one of the leading um, virtual visual effects uh, companies in Hollywood. Um, we also do a lot of other kind of production work, but then beyond that, we have what, what is um, our smart home, or what we call our connected home business. And connected home um, is primarily. Uh, set-top boxes and gateways that we sell to service providers. So we have this um, very large, we're actually number two in the world, we ship over a million units a week. Um, and, um, but then, we're, so we have this, this legacy of um, content creation and then um, our company has a content delivery as well. What is the content that's being delivered? Is it content that you own or it's general content? It's just general content. So um, if you look at a movie like, uh, most recently we won an award for uh, Jungle Book. So it was a, um, we did all the animation that was in, in the, the new kind of live action Jungle Book, although most of it was um, animated. And then um, we have our, and then that, that then carries out into the, our delivery into homes, whether it's through a set-top box or content that's delivered um, through a, a gateway. When we talk about set-top boxes, are we talking about cable, satellite, or across the border? Is it a specific box for a specific company? So we provide uh, set-top boxes to global service providers. In um, We provide cable, telco, um, satellite, and we also provide over-the-top. We're the, one of the leading um, partners for Android TV in delivering over-the-top services to um, different companies. I presume with an Android phone, you're not carrying around a set-top box. <laughs> no, it's a, but it's the Android platform um, that enables the services on a home. And so a customer can get, um, or the consumer can get that over-the-top content, but then it also gives them access to the Play Store so they can use it for, um, they can download other applications as well. Now, what's the secret behind set-top boxes? What, what's in there that makes you different as a company and your set-top box is different? Well, it's all different based on the, the, the application for the customer, what they want to deliver, the service provider, and what types of service they want to deliver. Um, so what we're able to bring is the integration of those services, um, providing the security as well, so that the content that's delivered is secure. Um, and then um, also the experience at the, at the end, making sure that it's a reliable, consistent experience. Consumers do not have any patience for um, a program to go down. If they're watching a sporting event, something like that, they don't want it to not work. And so um, making sure that we're delivering a reliable product that's going to last, that's going to last for a while in a home so that a service provider can get um, very good revenue out of it. Do people know that they've got a Technicolor set-top box or do they just have the set-top box that's delivered to them by their operator? Um, most people don't recognize, they don't recognize the Technicolor brand. They might have a brand or it's branded by the service provider that's in the home. Um, so they may not know it, but um, we also have within our company, we have a technology group or a, um, that um, develops patents. And so for a lot of the patents and a lot of the, the technologies that do exist out there, um, we're, we do create them and we have a whole research and innovation team um, that's just focused on coming up with new innovations that we can either deploy through our boxes or through partners. And you're here in Singapore at Communicasia. Uh, how are you finding this event in terms of what you're used to around the world? Uh, so this is a, we do different events, major uh, trade shows around the world, but this is a, this is a very, um, it's a great show to be um, here and to have, it's, it's a much more fragmented than in some markets, so to have all these different type of customers, um, different type of solutions that they're trying to provide. And uh, what, but the, really the, the, the challenges that they have and the services they want to deploy are very, very similar no matter where they are. And we see a lot of, a lot of focus on, um, on OTT, on over-the-top delivery, and also on um, Wi-Fi. That's another thing that we're showing is um, kind of the Wi-Fi excellence because everybody has devices in their home and they want their Wi-Fi to work and they're looking back to their, um, to their provider wondering why it isn't working. So um, those are the type of things that we're seeing and what, uh, that we're able to show. And when we talk about smart home, are you using the set-top box as the conduit into the homes? Is that the idea? Uh, most, for us, it's really the gateway. And so some of the things that we're showing right now, um, we, we, we've got a partnership or we, we're working with Amazon that where um, Amazon Web Services, where we can actually take some of their voice-enabled services and have that run off of, our, off of our gateway. And so you can actually interact with your gateway and say, open up a guest network or um, 
prioritize content to, another, to a device, um, and so you can interact with your gateway at a different level. Well, it sounds interesting, and I'm going to get into it and find out a little bit more about how set-top boxes work <laughs> after this. Brian, thanks very much, and thanks for being here. Thank you. Appreciate it.